Police say this is the face of a killer. Murder charges just filed against Michael Rorty Nugent. Detectives say he's the one who killed a missing Bedford woman. Good evening, I'm Jim Nelson. The body of Bernicia Lightfoot was just found last night in Slavic Village. Michelle Nix has the breaking developments. 26-year-old Bernicia Lightfoot has been missing since at least Tuesday. Now Bedford police confirm her body was recovered in Cleveland. Her live-in boyfriend arrested, charged with first-degree murder. The family of Bernicia Lightfoot knew something was wrong when they couldn't reach the 26-year-old on Tuesday, her birthday week. Loved ones alerted police and asked them to do a wellness check at Lightfoot's Colony Club apartment. The missing woman's phone was found lying in a yard near 59th and Chester. Then Bedford police made an unsettling discovery inside of her home. They found evidence, quote, indicating someone may have been seriously injured there, end quote. At that point, Lightfoot's live-in boyfriend, Michael Rorty Nugent, became a person of interest in her disappearance. But adding to the mystery of this case, Nugent also appeared to be missing. However, by Friday, Bedford police located the boyfriend and arrested him. Hours later, news that the body of 26-year-old Bernicia Lightfoot was discovered near East 64th and Francis Avenue, a wooded area near the city's Broadway Slavic Village neighborhood. Saturday afternoon, the victim's family and friends gathered there to hold a private balloon release and honor Lightfoot's life. Her boyfriend, Michael Rorty Nugent, now charged with their murder. Rorty Nugent has been in and out of the county's justice system over the years. Graphic images from the 19 News April 2020 archives show the murder suspect when he sued the jail, his face drenched in pepper spray after he claimed he was abused and tortured by deputies. Now the Bedford man is back in custody, charged with killing a woman he was supposed to love. The victim's exact cause of death has not been released at this time. The medical examiner's office will perform an autopsy, but her live-in boyfriend is behind bars and will face a judge on Monday morning to answer to a charge of first-degree murder. Reporting in Bedford, Michelle Nix, 19 News.